So the Sheffield following hope it's their turn today, and so does goalkeeper Martin Hodge. Playing after three days' intensive treatment on a back injury, he captains them against his old club, having played for Everton here in a semi-final six years ago. And at the other end, Bobby Mims had a trial with Wednesday as a youngster. He later joined Rotherham, and it was for them he played his last FA Cup tie at Mansfield in November 84. Now he's deputising for the injured, unlucky Neville Southall. So, a sad day for Gary Lineker and Kevin Sheedy, both ruled out of the team through injury. The rain that was falling a few minutes ago seems to have eased now, and Sheffield Wednesday in yellow, Chapman gets the first touch, volleyed clear by Gary Stevens. Everton defending the goal to our right. Up goes Thompson, looking for shut. And Stevens had to concede the corner, and corners are a Sheffield Wednesday speciality. They've scored plenty of goals from set plays this season. Chapman has stood in the six-yard box. Hart has also gone forward. Hart's flick on, Nixon couldn't quite make it. It was close. Gary Thompson. Hart has stayed forward, shut. Nixon touching it to Sterling. Couldn't quite get his shot in, deprived by Vanden Howe, actually. And here's Peter Reid. Good challenge by Richardson. This is Vanden Howe. In the way was Megson. Ratcliffe. Well, the near post corner almost worked in Sheffield Wednesday's first attack. The ball was flicked on by Paul Hart and a taller player than Gary Megson might have finished it. And Gary Shelton got a foot in, and here's Thompson. Now he's onside because he was in his own half. It's Carl Schutt up against Mountfield. On his own for the moment, and happy to force the corner. Snowden will take the corner. Hart and Chapman are nearer to the kicker. The others waiting to come in. Goodness me, it flew right across the goal again, and once more, Megson was the player nearer to it for Sheffield Wednesday. Here's shut. He's got Megson outside him. And here's Shelton. And Mountfield stood in front of Shelton and the referee put his arms by his sides and gave nothing. Gary Shelton was in a menacing position. Derek Mountfield appeared to block him, but the referee said play on. Heath's in the thick of it there. It may run on for Sharp. Laurie Madden. Ratcliffe, free kick. Now Ratcliffe went through with a second challenge on Shirtliff, but it was the first one from Heath that the referee had actually penalised. Now Everton have an injury problem themselves here because Trevor Stephen has gone down awkwardly on the halfway line and requires attention. Howard Kendall's concern is such that he's come down from the stand to the bench to see whether Trevor Stephen can continue. And Alan Harper, the substitute, is getting ready, and it looks as though Stephen is limping his way out of this semi-final. From the way he went down, it looked as though it might be a groin injury to me that Stephen has sustained there. And what a sad day for him to have to go off so early. They've played 27 minutes, and Alan Harper, twice an unused substitute in the FA Cup final, is on the field. Shut. Sterland, Chapman. Half 
time arrives as it so often does on semi-final day with no score it's Ratcliffe with the free kick makes his header out Bracewell put back in snowed in away from Harper back in by Mountfield now Harper is onside and he's got the ball over the goalkeeper and Alan Harper the substitute has scored for Everton five minutes after half time against the run of play Alan Harper puts Everton in front and how well he took it It's the first goal that Harper has scored for the first team this season. They talk about what he got against Liverpool in a Merseyside derby, but they may talk about this one a bit longer. He got free on the right, but as Martin Hodge started to advance, Harper, who did his trade as a fullback and is playing in midfield today, showed a forwards instinct. He lobbed the ball beautifully over the goalkeeper and found the unguarded net. These are anxious moments, Everton having just scored. Hart is there, Shelton's arriving away by Stevens as far as Snowden. Back in again, Hart and Shackman, Hart's header, shut! Yes, the equaliser! Carl shut! Three minutes after going behind, Sheffield Wednesday a level. What a reply, it was instant. Well, the Everton bench was all jubilation when Harper scored. Now they've sobered down because they've seen the equaliser go in at the other end. Three minutes to go. Stevens taken away as far as Richardson. Mountfield still forward. And Shirtliff takes it away from his own goalkeeper. Corner. Vanden Howe racing forward to join Mountfield. Stevens is there too. There is Stevens. It's going to come out to Bracewell. Richardson's cross. Mountfield. Shot! No! Agonizingly wide. The goal was gaping, but it came quickly at him off Mountfield. And Graham Sharp steered his shot just the wrong side of the post. Shelton. For the third year running, Everton's FA Cup semi-final goes into extra time. So in this first period of extra time, Sheffield Wednesday playing left to right. A replay would take place at Main Road, Manchester next Tuesday. Standing room only there. Everton are the extra time experts and here they are on the attack in the first period Reed Stevens Bracewell heads it back in Richardson Mountfield is still forward Bracewell Sharp is hovering dangerously What a finish by Graham Sharp! Eight minutes into extra time, Everton are back in the lead. It was a good diagonal ball, but Sharp finished that majestically. And scores to send the Evertonians back into raptures and to give them the sniff of Wembley again Snowden to take it and Hart's there again and Megson's there and on the roof of the net from Gary Megson we're in the last minute Ratcliffe Offside. The Evertonians thought it was the final whistle, but it's not, you know.
players asking the referee how long there is to go. Thompson heads on. And Everton have reached the FA Cup final for the third year running. Only the second club to do so this century.